There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey love, so today's video is going to be a lace front wig tutorial. This is actually a 360 lace frontal and it's by a company that I previously reviewed in the past which is called Ryu Hair. For this one, this is a 22 inch virgin Malaysian body wave and prior to the video, I have already went ahead and bleached the knots in the unit. Along with that, I did pre-pluck or pre-tweeze the hairline and washed it out and now it's time to style it. So I did put it on a mannequin head and I'm going to take some of my cheap Dollar Tree styling mousse and I'm just going to rub that into the part section and just to lay and train the hairs to lie flatter. I'm just going to rub that in with my comb. You just want to make sure that you are rubbing it really well. It doesn't have to be saturated. It doesn't have to be soaking wet. You just want to rub in enough styling mousse or you can also use setting lotion so that way you can train the hair to go in the direction that you want your part to lie flat. I also will take my hot comb which will also help train the hair and will also lay it much flush to your own head so that way it looks as natural as possible. You also want to do the hairline as well. You can either do this on a mannequin head or if you have the patience you can do it on yourself. I find like using a mannequin head makes life so much easier and it just makes the timing go by a lot quicker. I think styling any wig on a mannequin head is a lot easier than styling it on yourself especially with time wise. So as I stated I did work with this company before and their units are really affordable. You can get about just about any origin of hair such as Brazilian, Malaysian, Peruvian, um, yaki or kinky you can get just about any kind of origin and texture this wig is 22 inches in length and it's 150 percent density body wave virgin malaysian and it is 155 dollars so of course somebody came through which was my grandson he came to see what i was doing because you know he's a little nosy so we're just going to chat with him a minute while I go ahead and get this wig prepared. So I do put styling mousse onto the actual wig itself and that will help tame any type of flyaways or frizziness and it'll also allow the curls to hold a lot better when you are using the curling iron. So of course I had to give me a little bit of kisses in there and I guess he really didn't think so because he did wipe them off and we gonna act like we didn't even see that for the video and he gonna have to leave now because there was no way that you gonna come up in my room give me a kiss and then wipe it off yes goodbye Tinky so I'm gonna take my barrel comb or curl excuse me my barrel wand and I'm gonna wrap the hair around and I'm also going to use some clips just to hold it so it'll cool off and the curl will stay so you want to take your hair and just twist your hair around so as you're wrapping it around you want to also twist the hair around as you see me doing so it kind of gives it like a wave texture versus just a straight curl pattern so you just take it twirl it around and wrap it you know so kind of like you're twisting your wrist as you're wrapping the hair around if you need to show me to show you in a really slow motion video then by all means I'll definitely do that but I think it's really easy um, this will give you like beach wave effects it can also give you very loose waves. It all depends on what the size barrel that you're using and also how much hair you're putting on the barrel as well. So to hold my curls, I do love to use the Aussie Instant Freeze Curling Spray in the aerosol can because it does do really well. Of course, I do love Pump It Up, but I only really use Pump It Up the most for installing my wigs. So I'm going to do the other side and I'm definitely going to do it off camera because you guys already know the gist of this. And just for the top portion, I will show you guys that so that way you can see the ending of me actually per se styling the wig. And it came out easy. The hair, you know, it did shed a little bit as I washed it. You know, I did kind of like leave the bleach on the frontal portion or the hairline a little bit too long. Um, I think it's always best that you bleach the hairline last meaning start from the back of the lace and just work your way up because the hairline is always thinner than the rest of the hair so of course the front is always going to bleach fast or of course the hairline is always going to bleach a lot faster versus the back of it so 
just keep that in mind so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use some of this um i think it's dark and lovely or i can't remember but i'll definitely link it below and this is just an actual hair dye um it's a permanent hair dye i just take a little mascara wand and touch up the edges so that way you don't see any type of brassy tones in the unit it wasn't a lot but you know i just wanted to make it look perfect so i went ahead and did that so now it's time for the wig install. So of course this video is pre-recorded from like the beginning of November or the ends of October. So I did record this video quite a while, way before my surgery. So I will be back really soon, you guys. I just wanted to get these videos posted out and I just wanted to recover a little bit longer. So as you guys see, it is a 360. There are combs in the unit and an adjustable strap. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my hair out right here. Along with that, my sideburns. I don't really do like those stiff baby hairs too much anymore because I just feel like, you know, wispy hairs are a little bit more natural versus a lot of the pasted baby hairs. I mean, I do like the pasted baby hairs too, don't get me wrong, but you know, for certain styles, it's okay. So I'm gonna take my eyebrow um, trimmer I'm just going to trim off some of the hair. Some of the hair is for baby hairs, and some of the hair is for my sideburn. I got to have a sideburn, okay? I just have to. So as you guys see, the wig looks really natural. It's super cheap, 22 inches, hunties. So here's the fun part of all of it. You want to take that pump it up super hole, and you want to take it, and you want to spray it on the hairline of the lace. Not the actual hair, but the lace, the edges. I do leave a little bit of lace on. And you want to take the back of your blow dryer, and or excuse me, the back, back of your, your toothbrush or whatever style I told you to use, and you want to press down into it with your blow dryer on cool. So that way you don't burn and scold yourself because you're not about to get third degree burns on account of me telling you to put your blow dryer on high heat. Don't do that. Just put it on cool. If you can take medium, that's cool. Or switch back and forth. So I'm going to do the same thing again right here. I'm just going to put some kind of like wispy hairs in that. But it looks really natural. I think it came out good when it came down to the bleaching of the knots. And I'm just going to take my brush a little bit. I use actually mousse to style my sideburns as well. So in case I forgot to show that part. And here I go again with the pump it up spray and the blow dryer. Let me tell y'all something. The pump it up spray will leave my wig on for like three to five days. Especially if I ain't doing anything crazy and wild. Plus I'll put on a little headband type of thing. A little flat headband at night. And then a scarf on top of that. So that way it'll definitely hold down. And then I put a bonnet on. Your girl be, you look, I put on a helmet damn near when it's time for me to go to sleep. Because I am not about to be sitting here and reapplying my wig. Especially if I don't have to. So, yes, this is what I do, hunties. Now, as you guys see, the hair is flowy. It probably doesn't look like 22 inches right now because of the way I curled it. But trust me, it is 150% density and really cute. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really install or I really didn't adhere the opposite side where... It's covered most because I just really didn't feel like doing all of that for this video because you wasn't going to really see that part. So I kind of left that part kind of like flapping with the wind, you know. The part that you're going to see is this side. So, yeah, I just left the other side kind of like loose and free. You know, I can get a little bit of air up on, you know, my left side. So this wig came out really cute. It's super affordable. $155 for 150% density 22 inch virgin malaysian 360 lace front you can do loads of different things with it you know what i'm saying you can put it up in a ponytail a high bun updo girl just do you and look cute cut you hunties make sure you check out ryu hair they got some affordable wigs i'll put a coupon code below down there if you need one and if i could find one I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up. Show me some love. I will see you guys in a soon to come video. And of course, Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Bye.